Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Chef Vic Cuisine. Today, we're making mulled wine. Now, get ready for your house to smell amazing, and for all your guests to thank you for all the flavor wrapped up in this amazing drink. It's super easy to make, and it tastes delicious. So, let's get started. All right, for the ingredients, we're gonna need one 750 milliliter bottle of red wine, preferably a Cabernet Sauvignon, and you can just choose your own favorite bottle of red wine. I chose this one because I really like the design of the bottle and the flavors within the wine itself. Then you're gonna need one orange that you're gonna zest and thinly slice. And you wanna make sure that you keep the peel. And then we're gonna need a quarter cup of brandy. About eight to 10 cloves. One to two star anise. About a third cup of honey. Or as a substitute, you can use a third cup of granulated white sugar. Then you're gonna need three cinnamon sticks. And then about one teaspoon of fresh ginger grated. And then for garnishment, we can use some additional cinnamon sticks and the orange slices. All right, so to get things started, we're gonna prepare all the ingredients. So you wanna zest the entire peel of one large orange. And then once you have all the zest removed from the orange, we can set that aside. And then you wanna slice the orange into eight wedges. And like I mentioned earlier in the ingredients list, you wanna keep the peel on the wedges. Next up, we have the ginger. And so all you need to do is peel away the outer layer of the ginger. And then once the inner root is exposed, you wanna take a zester and create about one teaspoon's worth of grated ginger. And always be mindful when working with a zester. They're filled with very sharp points. And so to prevent any accidental injuries, I normally like to move the ginger across the grater instead of the grater across the ginger, if that makes sense. That way you have more control over what it is you're zesting. And so once all the grated ginger is ready, we now have all of the prepared ingredients and we can start the process of making the mold wine. So in a large pot over a stove top, you wanna pour in your red wine, the whole bottle, and then you wanna follow that up by adding the orange zest, the orange slices, the brandy of your choice, the cloves, the star anise, and either honey or sugar, I'm using honey in this recipe, as well as the cinnamon sticks, and the grated ginger. And now you wanna gently warm these ingredients on medium low heat, or 249 degrees Fahrenheit, or 120 degrees Celsius. And this should take about 20 to 25 minutes. Your goal here is to not boil the wine. And throughout this warming process, we wanna stir the pot intermittently to make sure that the honey or the sugar, if you use it, has dissolved completely. Oh, and don't forget to stir in that like button, subscribe to this channel, and hit the bell icon to be notified when my next video drops. And stay tuned until the end of this video for a sneak peek of the recipe coming next week. And right about the 20 to 25 minute mark, the wine should begin to steam, and the ingredients at this point should have been infused and all that flavor is in the wine now and it's ready to be served. Now, while this is an optional step, what I like to do for a smoother drink is to strain the wine before serving it. And so I pour the wine through a fine mesh sieve to get rid of any solid bits from the mold wine. So if you normally like pulp free drinks, this method is definitely for you. If you're a fan of pulp, then feel free to skip this step. And so now all you have to do is pour the mold wine into your favorite mug or Collins glass. 
And for final touches, we can always garnish this drink with some cinnamon sticks, orange slices, and even additional star anise. And just like that, you've made your very own mulled wine right at home, just in time for the fall season. There are so many beautiful aromatic flavors infused into this drink that I know you're gonna love it, especially during this upcoming season. This drink makes for the perfect nightcap on a fall or winter night. For a variation on this recipe, you can always try using a Merlot wine instead of a Cabernet Sauvignon for a different flavor profile. And you can also use a dash or two of vanilla extract as well. As always, this recipe and many more can be found in my cookbook, Chef Vic Cuisine Volume 1, Finding Your Inner Chef. And that's available on Amazon, and I'll be sure to leave a link to that in the description box. Thank you all so much for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to this channel, and hit the bell icon to be notified when my next video drops. And stay tuned for next week, where I show to make this really healthy, yet incredibly delicious dessert, white wine poached pears. I know you're all going to love this one. Well, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next week on another episode of Chef Vic Cuisine, and until then, peace.